Welcome back to the second episode of my Satisfactory series, currently in Update 8 Experimental. We completed most of the basic automation in the first episode, and we have two specific goals today. The first is completing smart plate automation and launching the space elevator for the first time. The second goal is building our first coal plant so we can get off the biomass burners. We've got a lot to do, so let's get started. First on the to-do list, we gotta check our power, see how that's going, make sure that uh, we're all loaded and we have enough leaves and everything. We might have to do a gathering run. But the first construction goal is uh, we have two assemblers down there on the right, which are making reinforced iron plates. And we're gonna put down a couple of assemblers to make rotors. And then we're gonna build our, get our snort plates ready because one of the things we have to do very quickly is get the space elevator up. But first thing we can do here is launch resourcing. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Plan is on this plateau to build our space elevator. I'm gonna head up there and clear cut as much as I can. I'm gonna try to keep a couple of the really big trees there, but if the chainsaw gets them, I'm not gonna cry too hard about it. Okay. Definitely gonna get rid of these two trees here. And this, that one we can probably leave. Get rid of these. You know, honestly, it doesn't take that long to take care of this stuff, and we should have power coverage for quite a while. All right. Let's try it. Let's see if I can chop this down and not eat the trees. Oh, one's gone. All right. I feel like that that's a good compromise. I'm going to build us a nice little way to get up here. Eventually, I think I'm going to make this part of my factory, starter factory that we're building down there. All right, I love building the space elevator. It is super fun. I wonder Oh, I don't want you. Let's do this. I think barely fits on the platform that I made. Let's oh, there's a doggo over there. That's why that wouldn't build. <laughs> I will uh, spend some time taming some doggos, but not right now. Let's see, centered is looks pretty centered. 
back and forth right on that line. Three and three. Hard to tell backwards and front and back. We're going to go with that. That's pretty close. Zapper's in the way. Nice. Messing up my factory floor. Okay. All right, let's do a quick little overview of what we have going on here. I am doing a bus system with these. We're gonna run all of our raw materials, four stacks of iron from these four nodes, and then two stacks of copper from the two copper nodes that are in that direction. And then the smelters will pull off what they need and send back what they create. In this case, a full belt of iron ingots. And then we go down to the next row, main bus, of four constructors. And so we're going to have quite a few iron ingots, right? The same four that we're creating over there. And then two copper ingots up top again from over there at minimum but then we're also going to feed around back into the middle things that get created so for instance if we need cable we're going to have to send some wire through one of these up there and then we'll make some constructors on the back end to make that cable and pull that wire down and so on and so forth. And then what these constructors make will get moved over to the assembler slash manufacturer line over here. So we are ready to add on to our, let's go ahead and turn the light on, add on to our assembler line, our assembler row. We'll also have a refinery row as well, I believe. So yeah, we're just behind that line. Could be here. Right there. Nope, I'm dumb. Backwards. Two inputs. And then where's that line? Right there, the green lines are lined up, I believe. Yep. Now we're going to be making rotors. And rotors need iron rods and screws. We actually don't have iron rods or screws belted over to here. We have the wire because I got a special recipe. Lucky out of my first this alternate stitched iron plate. So I have to make way less screws than I normally would, which is, I'm really happy about. But we still need screws and we still need, we actually need some cable as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make us two cable should handle us for now. We'll feed the wire back around. Mark twos go on the feeding line and mark ones. Oh, that's wrong. Gonna be up here.
Got how my own system worked there for a second. Actually don't need this. Do need this. This will be our cable output. It'll be perfect. Mark one. All right, so we have four iron ingots coming in, two iron, no, two copper ingots that are going to be coming in, and then, yeah, we could throw the wire in. This would be really nice when I get signs, because I'll be able to label them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so number seven is copper. That's two, I mean, wire. That's two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Is that right? And doesn't look right. Oh, that's because that was eight. All right, and then the same thing here. All right, and then we can kill these. Kill those. and kill my knees. Um, now, he's up. Perfect. Oh, one thing I, I didn't know for a long ass time is if you listen really carefully, there's a little click when it's locked in. So you know it's connected. If you're in a little bit of a weird spot where you're not sure if something's connecting, Listen for that click. That is really, really, really cool. I'm gonna snap a picture of that. But yeah, uh, the signs I was talking about is labeling these buses so I kind of remember which ones are which. So we'll, we'll do that when the time comes. We have a lot of cleanup to do out here. I'm gonna be building a subfloor and uh, putting a lot of this down in the subfloor once the awesome shop really gets rolling. But we are not quite there yet. Use the middle here. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be the wire uh, coming in. Come on, get there, yep. And then go third level four five six seven there's two per am i crazy does that look good it does only problem is that's a mark one so oh, oh i'm out of plates And I don't think we're building any iron rods here at all. So that is what is next to do. I think I want to build eight iron rods. Seven, eight. Yeah, 15 part and we're gonna we're gonna jam 120 down. Copy, paste, paste. This should take care of our iron rod needs for quite some time. These are all gonna be iron rods, but they're all not gonna be turned on at once. <laughs> I, I can't handle the power. So if we wanna fuel two rotors, we need 200 screws per minute, and if we do need 200 screws per minute, that's 50, that's 5 times 4. So we need 50 iron rods, and iron rods, to get 50 iron rods, is 3, is 4. 4 with some leftover, which is great. 
as we'll split it into a storage. So we're only going to turn on four of these. Okay, so that's iron rods coming out. And we have the ore coming in, although it's not actually coming in. So let's create that. And in order to do that, we're going to add on down here. Four more iron smelters. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Splitters, those are lined up right. Okay, 120. Um, that ore should be coming around. And it's going to go through the second level. Going to go down into those smelters. And now we need to build a way to do something with the new ingots. So iron ingot should go through here. It should go through this mess. <laughs> and then come back down. And then it's going to go into our iron rods. And then the iron rods are going to come back around this direction. And they're going to end here for now. So what are we going to do with them? Well, we actually have to kick them up. to this level. Should loop around exactly how we want. And it does. And yeah, we don't need this actually. This is a work in progress for sure. But there's our iron rods. Cruise what we were gonna make. 200, so we need five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, one more. have our iron rods. It does. Cool. Cool. There it is. There's the sound. The sound that haunts my dreams. But it's, it's nobody's fault but mine. Quite literally. Building it. Factory. Okay. Okay, there's the rods. Now we just need to finish getting the screws over here, which are going to go here. Everything is now in place to make uh, to hook up our rotors, which have been sitting here patiently since basically the stream started. This one goes here. Kill those ones. And this one goes here. There it is. Okay. There's our rotors, and all we have to do is stick some rotors back in. Three, four, five, six. Christmas miracle. Okay. So I think I'll throw the smart plates 
here. Smart plates, maybe. Smart plates. All of this for a smart plate. Okay. Now, reinforced iron plates are on the third row. It is here. One, two, three. And then we stuck our rotors. Are they way up top? I think they're way up top. Let's climb up on here. Come on, baby. And really, the idea here is that a lot of setup early means less setup later because we're going to have the line of reinforced iron plates already here. And so if we need to build something else that needs it, we just pull off of that line. The line of rotors is here. So when it comes time to do staters, you know, it's already set up. Are we building? Are we going? Reinforced iron plates. Oh, we didn't connect. There we go. Reinforced iron plates. Now we just need a box for them. There's our first smart plate. There he goes. All right, I just need 50 of those buggers. Where'd you go? I can hear you. There you are. He had one hit left. Oh, keep rolling. That was funny. There's another one. Where is he? Oh my god. There's only one. Ooh, good times. That kind of got, got the heart going a little bit. I'm afraid of another spider now. What is that? That's a spider. Ha <laughs> Gotcha. Where'd he go? There he is. We don't have his type of meat yet. Oh my god, there's a that's a big boy. I am definitely not prepared for that. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, he's really fast. <laughs> Jumping over the rock. Oh, he—he he may kill me. Especially since I can't uh, sprint jump up a hill. I can hear him coming. If I can get off. Oh, one more hit. I'm toast. He is like following me forever. I don't hear him. Oh my God. He's still coming. We're back at home. My heart rate has calmed down. My Fitbit's going to have uh, some heart rate hours. Watch that armored SOB like come tearing around the corner. That'd be hilarious. Go ahead and just throw one down temporarily. What do I want? What do I want? Storage. And where's my... There it is. Five coupons. That easy. And then as soon as I have the 50 smart plates to send up the space elevator, I'm definitely 
hooking that baby up to this because he, uh, the smart plates do really, really well. We're gonna build an awesome shop. First awesome shop. Uh, management. We need the good stuff. That one, that one, and I actually probably won't use either of those for a while. Or anything else with one that we could make use of. Really need these modern catwalks. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy the modern catwalks now because I actually may use those where I won't use those other two. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, here we go. We never got jump pads. And plate. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. What I do, lose, lose Caution is them? recommended during use of these products. Guess he didn't launch. Full power, this is it. He launched, he just must have got out of there fast. He looks like a big one. Is he a big one? Now I'm scared. He is a big one. Man, I cannot jump around him. Will he follow me up this thing? He probably will. I wonder if I could, uh, cheese him. Come here. Get in range. Get in range of my zapper. Oh, no. Are you too smart for that? I'm the human here. I was scared. He dead? He's dead. He's just died standing up. Well, he died like he lived. Security levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Let's finish coal power, and then we'll be able to scan for coal, and we'll be able to figure out where we're going. Milestone. Yeah, my guy is gone. My little launcher. Alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note: Ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note: Pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note: Throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. All right, let's go find, let's go scout where we're gonna build our coal factory. The coal was over here somewhere. Where's the next one? There's the one that we already marked. These are the other two that I wanna locate. Nice.
All right. There's a big spider. That's great. And he sees me. Which is kind of freaky. And he jumps like a crazy. So I don't know if I can... I'm going to have to kill him to get to where I want. Yeah. I'm not leaving that crazy mother alive. Ooh. He got st <laughs> he got stuck on the pathing. He couldn't go forward over this. So that that worked out. Let's get this yellow power slug. Oh, nope. You need second thought? No, 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 no. We're going to be greedy. Yeah, we're totally doing it. Still hear him. Where is he? He's got to be under this. <laughs> Worth it. What I want to do is build 16 coal miners to start with. This is a normal. Pull 60 and 60. So that's 120. And I think that feeds, if I remember right, that feeds eight. Those trees look like a spider and it scared me. Making life easy for me. You almost feel bad. But then you remember that you're a fix-it employee. Oh, Bean, he scared me. So what I want to do is build the coal plant above the water extractors. Because then we can expand, like, forever. I just want to make sure that the that it's not too high. Four more. Power is good. We need copper sheets. We need them bad. And I can't remember how to make them. Copper sheets. Okay. Just copper ore. Or, I mean, copper ingots. So that means we need to open up a new copper mine. Well, we know where it's going to come in. Uh, it's going to come in right here. And... Gonna Stack them. Let's get rid of this and put that on. Yeah, yeah. Nice, huh? Shoot yourself in the freaking hand. Not good gun safety, bro. Always treat a weapon like it's loaded. Come on. Hey. Where's our copper? It's on this side. 120 coming in. Uses 30. Per. Two, three, four. All right. Perfect. 
And we have a spot waiting. Right there. Okay. What am I looking for? I'm looking for copper sheets. 20 per minute. I mean, we're feeding 120. I, I don't want to make six worth. Six of them. I mean, we're going to need them. So, all right, let's just lay down the six. We're not going to turn them on right now. We're really going to need a lot of them for AI limiters. Those damn copper sheets. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do the six. All right, that's where our copper sheets will go. And we're gonna redo all of this. We're gonna get good storage in up in this area. That's what this whole area is gonna be is storage. The vast majority of these belts are gonna be put in a subfloor. So this is the correct height. I guess we can just yeah, build this out. Definitely want to make this so that we can expand in the future. So I think we're going to feed from this way. Want enough room to walk. Two tiles at least. All right. One. Four. Five. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. I'm going to feed this line in from this direction. Let's just place down. I'm not going to place these all, just one of them. Splitter. Obviously, we're doing this manifold style because I'm not a sadist. All right, that was way more difficult than it needed to be. Okay, that coal is set up. Uh, let's get these splitters in. You can run all the coal and be done with the coal and the coal belts. And then we just have to work on water. Cooking with gas. I really want to be cooking with coal. All right, what, what does it look like under here? Okay, and then we're gonna run power off the back here. I'm gonna run them off center. And I'm just trying to go as fast as I can because, oops, I don't have a ton of biofuel saved up. Okay. Uh, those guys don't have power. Two off. One. Nope. Two. Don't get in the way, Bean. He's so noisy. It's all hooked up on the same power source. Now, 
water. Remind myself, how many do we need? 45. 45 times 16. 720 divided by 300. 2.4. So we need to run three pipes. The water's that direction, so this is going to be the uh, uh, the opposite end. We're going to go... Oh, no. One, two. One, two. Oh my god, Bean, you're crunching in my ear. One, two. Okay, so here's our three pipes. And then the end, they need to kind of, yeah, no. Auto, try horizontal to vertical. Do you let me? No, no, no. All right, that's okay. I'll, I'll do it a different way. Those are going to be our pipes, and we're going to take them down to, can we get all the way to halfway? I don't think we can, no. All right, we'll take them to here. One, two, then, oh, that's, that's wrong. Should be here. One, two. One, two, one, two. Look at that stripey artifact. That's super weird. I like the looks though, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna make a little junction. The water can rebalance. That's not what I wanted. Why oh, I built this. Alright, that's a little silly looking, but I think it does what I want. <laughs> I mean, actually, it's kind of cool. Alright, moving on. Alright, let's get some water holes. Let's do something like this. I have no idea what's going on with the stripes. I didn't even see them over there. Oh, I definitely didn't see those, mother.
But really quickly, there is a way to put foundations underneath the water like that, and then you can get your water extractors to snap. It might be too deep though. Yeah, they're not they're not snapping. So let's build There it is, there's the snap. But it was clipping. Not clipping, but I'd like a little bit more space. Oh, it's not working. There it goes. Try this. That's perfect. Um, and we need six of them. Now we can use something other than noodle. I mean, they all kind of look pretty noodly, to be honest with ya. Alright. Here. Here, and then there. <laughs> but not that. Ooh, that looks not perfect. Okay, right, try it again. We'll call it good. Uh, and then this one, one, two. This one, one, two. Definitely gonna have to noodle that. Kill this. Okay, now we just need power. And then we're gonna need pumps. I need one. Uh, let's line the Baby, come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Really? I think all we have to do is connect power. Now this might trip our breaker. We're we're gonna have to see. Yep. Okay, which means we're gonna have to kill this line. We pop. So no factory until full power starts. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I thought that went to power, or power, but it's ridiculous. I'm, I needed to cut this one. Well, that's horrifying. Good job! Really? Really, guy? That was it. All right. 
I think we're safe to connect the old factory. That capacity way above max. It, it hasn't dropped underneath that, so that's really, really good. That that coal power is going to serve us for a long time. Let's see what we have next to unlock. Vehicular transport. Basic steel. We're going to be making steel. We're going to have our Xeno Basher finally. Actually, we may... I'm, I'm going to grab that one right now. All right, let's see if we fixed our hub. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. I can't tell you how much it means to me if you stuck with me to the end, so thank you. If I've cut anything out you wanted to see, the full VOD for this video is linked in the description. I live stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings PSD if you'd like to join me in real time. If you want to keep up with my progress in this series, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again, and until next time.